This was my day. <laughs> This is like intimate, you guys. Hi, I'm Lana Condor, and here are my wellness essentials. I really do use all of it every day. It was kind of easy packing, because I just like brought my bag. <laughs> So first up, my morning essentials. The morning time is a very sacred time for me. I have very, very early, early call times. Um, and so I've kind of had to find a effective for me morning ritual that can help me like set my day with good intentions because I don't have a lot of time. So my morning is actually pretty quick and easy. So I start with the clever blends matcha super latte and all you have to do is just add water so I used to be a huge coffee drinker but sometimes like I would get the jitters drinking coffee um, but with this I it's it's a smoother experience the next product my Unico gua sha stone you can use it anywhere in your body I start on my face and I kind of go up up this and up this and here and here and up here get it really tight behind here where I sometimes clench my jaw. I will gua sha, gua sha, gua sha like in your arms. You can use it as like an acupressure point. So if you're having any sort of anxiety and kind of give yourself a massage. This is a really important tool. Oh, the worst is though like you gotta protect it so you have it in this case because it, it'll break. This is the five minute journal. Obviously it's quite weathered. I've spilt like many, many, many morning fluids on, <laughs> morning fluids, that sounded so wrong. No, I didn't pee on this. Um, it's just coffee stains. Anyways, this is the five minute gratitude journal. I'm definitely working on it for sure, but I um, am an anxious person. I had this really great um, piece of advice, I think, honestly, from my dad. His philosophy was like to calm anxiety, the best way to battle it is with the weapon of gratitude. When you're having like a panic attack, you're like, get that away from me, I'm freaking out. But once I actually sat with it, I was like, yeah, that is the best way. Every morning I open it up and then there's a prompt and you write three, th three things under the prompt. I'll just read you one. What would make today great? Memorizing my lines and performing. Yes, because my that's my job. What would make today great? Knowing, <laughs> I don't know how this one's gonna come off, so take it as you will. What would make today great? Knowing it's not always about me. <laughs> but I think what I meant by that is like, sometimes like on sets, they can be so, so chaotic. I'm pretty empathetic, so I take on other people's emotions really, really fast, and I'm really trying to work on that because that's not very healthy. But sometimes when I'm in a chaotic environment, I think it's because I'm doing something wrong, or I'm causing the chaos, and sometimes I am. But um, I, I, I really do think like if someone's hurting, I'm like, oh my god, are you okay? Like, did I, did I, did I hurt you? And then I'm like, no, it's not always about you, Lana. Okay. And that's oh, the, I, I just saw one page. What, <laughs> what would make today great? Rest, rest, rest. Word. I have my supplement container. And this is an awesome, I just wanna say an awesome little pill holder because it fits in everyone's bags or backpacks or purses. And I'm always on the go and so I always stick one in my purse and so I can never, ever, 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 ever forget to take my supplements. CBD hemp roll-on. It's 500 milligrams. It's for soothing here. Um, I like to just put it like here. It smells, it smells more of like a mint. It doesn't have any sort of like CBD smell. It's more minty smell, so it's kind of fresh and kind of awakens you and calms me. Um, and also just, I kind of also use it as like, almost like a perfume because it, it has a nice minty, earthy smell to it. Um, and. You know, I put this in the morning, but I do carry it in my bag throughout the day in case I need a little calming moment. And yeah, that's my that's my morning. Next 
next up, my daytime essentials. Unico Essential Mist. This is the same brand that does makes my gua sha. And I like to kind of keep it in my purse and spritz throughout the day if I want to feel clean or want a little, you know, uplift or just a general like check in with my skin because I wear so much makeup every day for work. So I just. And it's so, it smells so good. And it's just, I don't know, you've probably just noticed, like I feel great. It's just a nice refresh for the day. It smells so good. And I love it. My little mole skin. This one is very special to me because, well one, um, my fiance bought it for me. He put these uh, stickers on it and it, the first one says, where there's a woman, there's a way. My fiance is a feminist. I did that! He's mine! Um, and then noodles, because I eat noodles every day. And then inside he wrote a note to me. And so that's why this is like one of my most cherished ones. I guess I can read it to you. Let's see if there's anything a little. We'll find out together. Lana, you have a beautiful mind. It is filled with ideas, beliefs, and emotions that always leave me in awe. Use these pages to dive in, to communicate with yourself, and find the re find the reasons or the meaning. Find the reasons or the meaning. That's deep. The meaning of what? Find the humor or the source of pain. Writing, journaling is such an effective way to center yourself. Dig in, little mommy. <laughs> we will never stop growing, learning, and becoming greater versions of ourselves. I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you, doing it. Not doing it, <laughs> but the rest of my life, <laughs> not doing it, like, but like doing it, like growing together, okay, people? Yeah. So yeah, I love that one because of the note inside and it's also super portable. Although, And he bought this for me, although he got it on Amazon and he thought it was gonna be like much bigger and it came like this, he was like, what the fuck? Um, but it actually is perfect because it's great to bring around. We're closing up our afternoon and we're with my film camera. Well, this film camera, this one particularly, it was made in, in the 70s. The reason this is part of my wellness routine is I had this epiphany. Someone asked me like, like, what do you do for fun? Like, do you have, do you have any hobbies? And I was like, what do you mean? And I, I realized I don't have, I didn't have any hobbies at the time. Um, and that's really scary because you cannot, and we're talking wellness, you cannot simply just work all day, fall asleep and go back to work. Like that is not okay. That you need, there needs to be something in your life that also cultivates joy. Cause I have a lot of joy in my job, but like something that has nothing to do with your job and you need to have a hobby. I, so I realized I was like, I have nothing. And then I had an existential crisis. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick photography back up. Um, that always brought me so much joy because there's something tangible um, and there's some work that goes into it. And so you feel like, I don't, I just, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm doing something and creating something that has nothing to do with like me memorizing lines and you know crying on camera and doing that over and over and over again. So this is really important for my joy. We are moving on to my nighttime essentials. This is the Yina Co. Divine Biocellulous Mask. It's one sheet. Again, it's from the same company that does my gua sha and my mist. And no, I am not sponsored by them. I just really love their products. I like wash my face and then put this mask on and walk around or, you know, read a book or whatever with it. But I'm a firm believer of like, treating yourself after the day, be it a glass of wine, be it, you know, your favorite pasta dish. For me, like physically treating myself is really important. So like a mask makes me feel like I I did a good job that day and I've earned this. And like, it just makes me feel good and makes me feel, makes me feel pampered. And I feel like we don't do that enough. Like there's like this weird stigma that like, oh, if you pamper yourself, like you're lazy or that time could be spent better do being more productive like on the computer but i to me i'm like no like i want to show my body that i love it and that it deserves to be pampered um so that's kind of my mindset when it comes to these 
And while you have this, read a book. I almost exclusively read thrillers. Thrillers just immediately take me out of my current moment. And just I'm immediately engrossed in this story and I'm totally clocked out. And last but not least, I love this app. This is my this is my iPad, but it, it looks like a little journal. I love it. There is a coloring book app, um, and it's so much fun, and you get to basically just color, and there's music. You can play like harp music, or like flutes, or like what have you, and it's so grounding and calming and fun. I find myself falling asleep a lot too, my colorings. I wish I could have shown you some. I recently colored, um, like a hippie Jesus Christ. Well, self, um, those are some of the things that keep me grounded and kind of make me the best version of myself that I can be uh, as I step into the day and step through the day. Um, thank you so much for having me. I love you guys very, very much. And till next time. <laughs>